everybody, it's Kirsten from Lambie's Nursery and probably almost every day I get a comment asking how many dolls I have and what dolls I have. So this is my official 2021 collection update video and we're going to show you how many dolls I have and which ones they are. Let's go! This is Paisley. She is my very first reborn doll. I got her in March 2018 so it's been like three years now. I can't believe it. She is probably the doll I have one of the most special bonds with because she's been here with me for so long and she's just so beautiful. So she is the James Kit by Sandy Faber and she was painted by someone called Studio Doll Nursery over on eBay and I just love her to death. This is Evelyn. She is the first baby I got from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies actually, which is incredible. So I had just been scammed and I was just really upset. I made a video about it and Chelsea reached out to me. I was like, I'm so sorry that happened to you. That really sucks. Like, let's be friends. And I ended up ordering this doll from her, which is the Real Born Evelyn Sculpt. And she is so small. She actually wears preemie. But this doll started off an incredible and beautiful friendship. So forever she's going to be a very cherished doll in my collection. Just because she just resembles this gorgeous, beautiful, amazing friendship to me. This is such a special baby. This was actually a wedding gift. And she's so special. I named her Juliet because I felt like that was a really romantic name. And Ethan, I... I got married in July 2019 so it just is just a beautiful name that resembles all that and she is so tiny and smiley. She is the Uriel by Priscilla Lopez Sculpt and she's painted by Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies and this doll actually came with me to get married <laughs> like on my wedding because I got married in my hometown because I was living in Hawaii at the time. So my whole family got to meet this doll. We went on a fun outing with her and it was just a lot of fun. So I have a lot of fun memories with this adorable little girl. This is baby Ethan. We literally call him baby Ethan. He is the only boy in my collection for right now that's changing soon. But we call him baby Ethan because my husband's name is Ethan and they look really, really similar. So this is the Ethan Sculpt by Nicole Russell and he is painted by Pumpkin Sparkles Babies and he is just one of my most favorite babies in my collection. Oh my goodness, this is Luna. Luna is just a phenomenal doll. Like her art is just absolutely fantastic. I've had her for over a year now and I still cannot get over how beautiful she is. So she is the Rosalie by Olga R. I probably just messed up her name. And she's painted by Chelsea by Pumpkin Sparkles Babies. She is just incredible. Normally the Rosalie sculpt is not something I would love, but for some reason, just this doll in general just works. I love, love, love her curly legs and her arms and hands are just so beautiful. And then her face, her face is so cute. Look at those pouty lips. And she has a heart-shaped birthmark right over her eyebrow. This doll is just exquisitely perfect in every single way. This is Ruby and Stella. They are my Maddie Brown twins and they are so beloved here on YouTube and on Instagram. Everybody just really enjoys these twins. So the Maddie sculpt is so chubby and adorable and smiley at it wears about six months size and mine are painted, both of them are painted by Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies, but I actually got them at separate times. So the first one over on the right, that's Stella. She sent me that one, I think in October, 2019. And then on my birthday, February, 2020, she sent me Ruby who's over on the left. And I had no idea Ruby was coming. So she was a big, wonderful surprise and it was so much fun. This is Athena. She's a cuddle baby. So what a cuddle baby is, is it's just a vinyl head and then the rest of the body is cloth. And it's kind of like a teddy bear where they're super fun to hold, super fun to cuddle. And for some magical reason, they alleviate a lot of my anxiety. So they're really wonderful. I thought a cuddle baby would be really weird at first, but it turns out she's really magical and amazing and just so much fun to hold. She's so beautiful. Anyway, she's the Syrah Head by Audrey Stuta, painted by Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies. These are my accidental fraternal twins. So over on the left, we have Ariel. She is the real born ever sculpt. And then over on the right is Juno, who is Yelena by Alyssa Marks. 
and they're both painted by Pumpkin Sparkles Babies. When I got them, I actually got them probably over six months apart and I did not plan for them to be twins, but I kind of looked at them side by side and I thought they looked a lot alike, enough to be either fraternal twins or really closely resembling cousins. I'm not quite sure yet, but I am thinking of putting Ariel on a cuddle baby maybe, or excuse me, a cuddle body so that she can look similar to her sister Juno or maybe they'll just be cousins. Either way, I really like how they look next to each other. This is Hazel Rain, and I named her after my childhood best friend whose middle name is also Rain. And this is the real born Kelsey, painted by Pumpkin Sparkles Baby. She's a really small little baby, but I think she's painted so realistically. Like she has all these eye scrunchies and she just looks so freshly born. It's just too cute. Also, Look at her hair. It's paint. It's partially rooted and painted with just this gorgeous red hair. She's so pretty. This is sweet little Faith. She is a partial silicone baby, so that means her limbs are squishy and bendable and her face is squishy, but her body is actually made of cloth. That's why she's a partial silicone. Anyway, she is Tasha over at Ashton Drake Galleries for only $200, so she's a more affordable, realistic doll option and it's pretty cool she's silicone. This doll is ginormous and I love it. This is Willow. She is the Joseph three months asleep sculpt and she is massive. She wears like anywhere from nine months clothing to 12 months clothing and she's painted by Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies and the story behind this doll actually is Chelsea almost threw this doll away and I was like, I'm in love with her, but she got adopted by somebody else. And then just this last December, so a couple months ago, she was up for sale and I saw her and grabbed her the moment I saw her because she's just so perfect in my opinion. I think she's so cute and I also think it's kind of funny. She was almost a trash can baby. This is Elena. She is my only alternative reborn. Alternative reborn meaning that it's not human. She's actually an elf or a fairy. Sometimes I'll pretend she's an elf. Sometimes I'll pretend she's a fairy. She's absolutely gorgeous and we gets gifted to me by a wonderful friend. But my friend is not the artist. The artist is Penny's Tiny Closet. She's over on Etsy last I checked. This doll is just so cute. She's preemie sized and she loves unicorns. Like everything I put her in has unicorns on it. She's just so full of personality and so cute. Here are my three silicone babies. They're all by Kimberly Dolls, who is just phenomenal at making affordable silicone dolls. So first off, this is actually a tiny cuddle baby silicone. So her whole body is made of cloth. That's why she's swaddled. And then her head is made of silicone. I've named this sweet girl Ivy. And then over here is Riley. She's about six inches and she is a full body silicone. And then this is Lacey. She's 14 or 15 inches. She's the Rowan sculpt. I think she's been sold out for a couple years now. And I have a story about this one. So one of the very first reborns I got after Paisley was this sculpt, except she was bald and you know, same eye color, same everything else about her was the same. But eventually I sold her because I was getting a lot of hate about having such a small silicone doll and I let it get to me. So I sold her, but I always regretted it. And then last year for Christmas, my husband was able to find this doll again. The only difference is this one has rooted red hair. I'm gonna mess it all up if I take it, take her hat off right now, so I'm not gonna show you, but she has absolutely gorgeous hair. Anyways, he was able to find her and she looks the exact same as my original doll except for the hair. And I am just so happy to finally have her back and it has been so much fun. Like, I think I said this, but she's a full body silicone. She's just really small, so a lot of fun. So squishy, look at that squish. They all have that squish. I'll take her pacifier out. And I don't know, I just absolutely love silicone. It is so much fun to touch and squish. Plus if they're full body, they can go to the lake with you. It's so much fun. This is Jasmine. She's a Kimby Dolls baby. So she's about $100, can be found over at Kimby.com. And while she's not an authentic reborn, she's a realistic doll, she is so pretty. I think she's really well painted, well sculpted, so she can take a modified pacifier 
or the pacifier her company sells, same with bottles, and she has sculpted hair. So instead of it just being painted, it's actually molded too onto her skin and that just gives it this really real effect. She has beautiful eyes and eyelashes and it's just, I don't know, their line is so, so cool. This is Nathan. He's also a Kimby Dolls doll. It can be found at Kimby.com for $99. I love that company. They have so many cute dolls, so many cute accessories. This little guy is a lot like his sister. He's really beautifully painted, has sculpted hair, eyelashes, beautiful violet eyes, can take a modified pacifier or bottle or even the ones the company has that you can buy separately. And I love the wrinkles on his hands. These dolls are just so incredible for the price. Here are Flynn and Quinn, my JC Toys Behringer doll twins. So these dolls are only $20 at Walmart and they're not reborn dolls at all. <laughs> they're just really realistic, tiny little preemie dolls and I just love them. They're really cute and I just love how realistic they look on a small scale, which can be really fun because there are a lot of play doll accessories out there that are really small like Bitty Baby and other stuff. So it's kind of fun to get more creative with these dolls and do some more fun twinsy things, but on a smaller, maybe a little bit less realistic scale. This is probably one of the more realistic newborn reborn dolls I have. She is just phenomenal. I feel like sometimes I look at her and I'm like, oh wow, she's really real, which is just crazy because you know, I've had these dolls for a while and this one will still trick me. Anyway, she is a Charlotte sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles, painted by Pumpkin Sparkles Babies, and her name is Mia. Chelsea was kind enough to name her because her and her daughter were watching lots of anime together when they were painting this doll, and they decided that Mia was just the perfect name, and I think it fits her. She has just a teeny little bit of rooted red hair, and the rest is painted. It is just so phenomenally well done. This is Sweet Leilani. I named her a Hawaiian name because I spent a long time in Hawaii and she just looks really Hawaiian to me. Anyway, she is the August Sculpt and she is painted by Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies and she is just so precious. This is Allie. I love the Saskia Sculpt. I've actually had four Saskias. This is my latest Saskia. She is a friend hatter. But she is painted by Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies, and this is the Saskia Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And this particular one has just the prettiest blue-gray eyes in the whole world. This is Lily. She's a Paradise Galleries doll. She's from their Forever Yours line and called Blessing over there, and she is just so perfect. She has these absolutely gorgeous and stunning brown eyes and lots of pretty black hair to style. And she takes a magnetic pacifier. I am really impressed with this doll and impressed with all the newer Paradise Galleries dolls I've seen. She's just so cool. This, this is actually my favorite doll. This is Kinsley. She is the Heidi Sculpt by Audrey Stuta and she's painted by Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies. And I have always wanted a toddler, but they're really expensive and I finally saved up enough money and I was able to get this precious girl and she is just incredible. She wears like 12 month size clothes and she has this face where Chelsea and my husband are like, she's so grumpy. And then I'm like, she's just paying really close attention to the cartoon she's watching. And I just love that about her face where you can kind of determine what mood she's in and it might not be what everybody else thinks. Anyway, she always had a sort of sippy cup nearby and her mousy named Pixie. She just has so much personality. I love her already. This is Kennedy, my latest cuddle baby. I like to think that she's Kinsley's newborn baby sister. And she is just, she just has my whole heart. There's something about this face that just, it kills me. I love her. I've been sleeping with her every night just cause she is so adorable. Anyway, she is a cuddle baby and she has a pink cloth body under. So it kind of looks like she's wearing a sleeper or clothes under, which is really kind of fun. She is the Eric Head by Audrey Stuta, and she's painted by Chelsea Pumpkin Sparkles Babies. Can you guys tell who my favorite sculptor and painter are? I have a lot of Audrey Stuta babies and a lot of Pumpkin Sparkles babies. 
<laughs> there are so many dolls here. Okay, let's go ahead and count them from top to bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. <laughs> And not only that, but I'm expecting two more really soon. They're going to be twins. Isn't that crazy? That's so many dolls, but I absolutely love my doll family. I love to be able to get to share them with you guys. And especially I love to give you guys those affordable reborn options because I know so many of you want realistic baby dolls, but they can be a little bit pricey. So I do love to share those options with you guys. Each and every one of these dolls are near and dear to my heart and have a special story that really connects me to them. And sometimes I do sell dolls, but it's usually to bring home another amazing doll. And thank you guys so much for being on this journey. It has been an incredible ride and I'm really just grateful to get to spend it with you guys. Anyways, please support the channel by liking, comment, subscribing, maybe sharing this video with your friends. And remember to stay safe out there, guys. I know things have been a little bit crazy, but they are getting better. And remember, you matter and you are special. I love you guys so much. Have a great and wonderful day. Bye, guys.